first live eviction of the season of BB23 and it was interesting so I want to dive into all of this been keeping up with the feeds and everything going on and what a week let's see what this next HOH rain has in store but first who went home so this picks up after the veto ceremony Travis calls Frenchie a liar which he is it's funny because two people that he told were safe are on the block and are going to be on the block come eviction night tonight so it's like I don't know like Travis is upset about it but also doesn't really seem that completely bothered maybe that's just his personality he's just a happy-go-lucky dude I thought the whole what the French segment was funny it was a little light-hearted part of the episode where the girls discuss you know French Frenchie's name also being a substitute for the f-bomb so I was wondering when we're gonna see the whole slaughterhouse alliance coming together and it is absolutely huge and ridiculous it's it's a matter of time before it falls apart bunch of dudes and then two girls Whitney and Alyssa Derek F big D mentions that it's a huge alliance he seems pretty tentative about it and makes it clear that he will jump ship once it falls apart Xavier also pretty unsure about it then we see Frenchie and his all-girl alliance which really isn't an all-girl alliance because he's in it and he's not a girl the girls are entertaining it but we see in the DR sessions Tiffany Hannah Claire they're just like yeah 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 but also watch your back Frenchie I think it's pretty clear that they don't trust him I think Hannah said it Claire said it and Tiffany so but I'm, I'm all for an all-girls alliance just you know an actual all-girls alliance this season has so many brilliant strategic ladies and a lot of girls girls you know that yeah there are the Whitney Alyssa that are really getting on with the dudes but there are girls that seem like they're really vibing with each other so yeah I, I really love the casting this season with the ladies you know I, I love really smart girls and I love seeing them gameplay and, and strategize so I, I'm pretty impressed I, th I think we may see I don't want to jinx it a female winner this season I loved Kylan's birthday segment he turned 30 in the house that's so nice and and so special that he gets his turn 30 in the house so yeah Travis's highlight in the house is going to be him dressing up in a dress and giving Kylan a lap dance he was a really good sport about it and it was funny and just you know lighthearted and just happy and it was a bit of a break too from the crazy feeds Frenchie all over the place yeah Travis did a really good job good for him we see the Queens trying to get Travis to stay and I think it, it could have been possible I think something could have been done but the framework had to be really laid down and it, it, it had to you know involve a lot of work going into it his team you know that's losing a number anybody anybody's team yeah they say they want to work with Frenchie and make Frenchie happy because he's the HOH but at the end of the day one of these teams is gonna lose a person so that's losing a number from their own side from their own team Travis had a really short pitch for Brent and Frenchie but you know the sales pitch wasn't enough more had to be done more conversations had to be had more alliances it's unfortunate I think the only really the only alliance he had was with Derek X and Kylan and that fell apart so yeah this eviction episode Travis and Alyssa are both on the block and they're matching both have yellow I love Travis's shirt I would have worn that shirt so yeah Alyssa's speech I actually saw stuff on Twitter before I actually saw the episode and I saw Janelle commenting on Alyssa just naming everyone 
in her speech. Janelle's actually a Derek X fan, which I thought was really cute. Uh, I really like Derek X too. So yeah, I, I just saw a lot of jokes about Alyssa just naming everyone and people just tuning out after she said Piper and her, of course, plug her URL for her bathing suit company. These speeches have become sales pitches now. Alyssa's birthday is coming up, I think Saturday. So yeah, those are two birthdays pretty close together. Hopefully, she, for her sake, she won't be on the block for her birthday. Travis's speech, he takes off his shirt. I was like, why is he taking off his shirt? I thought maybe it was a nod to his little video interview thing for Big Brother that they used for the drafts. Or maybe he's just trying to get sponsorships or just, you know, do it for TV. Because it wasn't really going to do anything for him in the house. I don't think that was going to keep him in the house or change anybody's mind. But I guess it was worth a shot. He seems really nice, which I feel kind of bad. I always feel bad for whoever goes home first. He says he loves everyone and he, he seems like a nice guy. He says the stuff in his bed is not what they think it is. It's shaving cream. He got pranked last night. It's funny. It was, it was original speech. So yeah, the vote was almost unanimous. Pretty much what I expected. Derek F. seems to have thrown a hanky vote against Alyssa. Tiffany also voted out Alyssa. Claire voted out Travis though. Yeah, 11 to two vote. Travis, of course, evicted, got some really nice goodbye messages, had an air hug with Julie. Travis apparently tried to blow up Frenchie's game before he left. Of course, Frenchie lied. He said Travis would be safe. Travis ended up, of course, not being safe because he's going home first. It's hard being the first boot. I want to see this footage, I want to see what happened and how this went. Travis did say if he's going out, he's taking down Frenchie with him. Julie asked Travis about alliances and I guess kind of why didn't he try to make more alliances and he talks about his alliance that didn't work out with Kylan and Derek X. I thought it was funny when Derek X said he loved him like a brother even though it's only been seven days. <laughs> Why did this week feel so long? Frenchie's HOH week felt like it was three weeks. So yeah, that's it. And it doesn't seem like there's gonna be a battle back or anything like that. Julie didn't say anything about that, so. HOH comp. I've been looking forward to see what the competition would be and who would win. Basically, the house guests will choose a number to shoot from and get the ball into the shark's mouth, whoever has the highest number they're standing on and gets it in is HOH. CBS has some technical difficulties and they have to cut and when we come back, the house guests are already on their numbers. Alyssa chose the easiest spot and gets it in, then Brent is next and also gets it in. There was a really long moment in time when nobody else was getting it in and I started to get scared and I knew Twitter would be going nuts. So <laughs> if it was a Brent HOH, that would that wouldn't be what everybody wanted. It's it's it definitely wasn't the popular vote as to who people wanted to be the HOH. It definitely wasn't what I wanted for HOH. Hannah misses. Aza also misses. Christian was close, but also misses. Tiffany looked really good, but misses. Claire misses. I would have liked to see maybe a Claire or Tiffany HOH. And Kylan gets it, and I was, okay, so it's not gonna be Brent. So yeah, let's see. I know Kylan's been a little all over the place, but it would be interesting to see what he does with this. And yeah, then Brittany hits it really hard and misses. And Derek F also misses. Sarah Beth misses. And Derek X, last to go, also misses. Which I wonder, since a lot of people were saying that they were going to throw the competition, did they purposely choose spots that they wouldn't be able to make it from? I definitely would not have gone all the way over there if I, you know, actually wanted HOH. 
because that shot is it, making it from that angle I, I wouldn't even know how to do that that it looked incredibly hard a lot of the house guests were talking about throwing and of course it would be Derek X at the very last spot hitting from the hardest position and then it was kind of funny because Julie couldn't say difficulty she's like oh sorry for the technical difficulties and was struggling to say it was like going out um, <laughs> Just ironic. So yeah, Kyland HOH should be interesting because he has the cookout and he has the slaughterhouse and then Derek X saved him this week with the veto. So it should be interesting what he does. I hope he doesn't go after Derek X after Derek X, you know, did him a solid. I'm hoping this will be a positive HOH and it goes well and it isn't a disappointing outcome. I don't know. I I can't see Kylan going against Frenchie right now, but I'm hoping he just, you know, keeps the people I like safe. Next episode, I guess we'll see wild card competition, nominations. I heard Julie say something about switching teams in regards to safety for the wild card competition. I guess we'll see what that is all about. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this season and on the first live eviction of the season and don't forget to like and subscribe